what I'm saying, like what I was saying before in the uh, previous video and all that, you know what I'm saying, introducing the pack or whatever, you know what I'm saying, uh, <clears throat> of course got multi-MC up and all that, you know what I'm saying, running Enigmatica 2 Expert and all that, you know what I'm saying, it's a pack that I ran before, uh, recorded it before, whatever, you know what I'm saying, didn't really do anything with it, but I want to run it again, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be today's pack or whatever, you know what I'm saying, I'm also going to be running uh, Galactic Science, made by my pack uh, developer named Kathleen, she made a lot of good packs, including one called Hypervolemia. Uh, FTB Security is um is a pack that very interesting that I'm gonna end up running <clears throat> next time I get a chance or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's centered around uh, a mock called Compact Machines or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I got the idea, or whatever. One one of my people bought up uh, a new mod pack on one twelve two called Cl Compact Claustrophobia, whatever. It reminded me of this. It's on, this is on one seven ten. So I'm also gonna be running that pack as well. I haven't gotten that pad, but I'm gonna be running it as well. A GT New Horizons, just because I ran it before, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people on YT scared to actually run this pack, cause this pack right here is a pack that take you months going into years to actually complete. <clears throat> Me, I just play around with the packs. I don't really try to play it to complete it, cause I already played hundreds of packs or whatever. Completed plenty of plaques or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I already basically seen everything. It's nothing really new to me under the sun. I'm waiting for something new. That's the reason why I'm, uh, I really want to play this mod called Create. The Create mod for 114.4 or whatever. You know, it's just the only new thing that I've seen. Which kind of harkens back to the old days. The old 147, 164 days where you had to actually think about what you was doing. It wasn't just a bunch of magic blocks or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Which brings me to the reason why I want to play all of Fabric. You know what I'm saying? runs with a uh, fabric mods fabric mods are like your variations of forge mods or whatever you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and it's, for the most part it's basically brand new mods that i haven't played before i don't have any experience with them i don't know anything about them i'm just going off of my knowledge of forge mods which is basically every mod pack under the sun for the most part 99 percent you know what i'm saying fabric is still a very new uh api you know what i'm saying but I got the pack up already, you know what I'm saying? This is what the splash screen looks like and all that, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I was just uh, going through here looking at what worlds that I had, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I had a super flat set up, you know what I'm saying? It's an idea that I came up with before or whatever, because I've never seen an LP where uh, somebody runs a major mod pack in super flat, you know what I'm saying? Because, of course, you're going to run into a couple of issues or whatever with the way the, way the world generates or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I tried it out just to try it out, just to test it out. And I tried it in Sevtech, you know what I'm saying? I changed a couple of the layers so it could be a little bit deep, deeper, so it could have oceans and lakes. I mean, not oceans, but lakes and stuff like that. And it turned out to be a decent experience. And because of the fact that it's super flat, it gives more of a visceral, adventurous type of feel or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's a pack that I'm going to end up going back to or whatever. I'm just not doing it right now. Kind of like in the enigmatica mode or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to create a new world or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the channel and all that, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk real quick about uh, what I had going on all over here. That's a Fenarios video. <clears throat> was, this is what I'm probably going to be getting into or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to find, I already ordered this already, you know what I'm saying? But I was trying to find um, HDD and SSD enclosures or whatever, you know what I'm saying? For uh, my 128 gigabyte SSD that I got from my gaming computer. As well as the uh, the terabyte hard drive that I have as well. You know what I'm saying? From my own system. You know what I'm saying? Operating systems loaded on the SSD. And um, all my games and everything else. And all, all the information and whatever is on the hard disk drive. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I need enclosures um, for that so I can plug it into the Mac. So, you know, I can read that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a, uh, a cloning uh, program, program or whatever. And clone those, both of those drives. And I'm going to put that on the terab uh, on the um hard disk drive you know what i'm saying i mean a ssd that can fit it you know what i'm saying so i need a two terabyte ssd which is gonna run me about 250 dollars you know what i'm saying <clears throat> that's the next plan or whatever you know what i'm saying just to get all, all my old stuff off of there or whatever you know what i'm saying because i had a lot of games and a lot of shit on there you know what i'm saying but anyway back to the back or whatever so we're gonna go ahead and create a whole new world you know what i'm saying i don't even know what the let's call it your city or whatever you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't understand that when I say that or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yurt is basically uh 
that's some block shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody basically run around the block back and said, day like, you're, you're, what up, yo? You know what I'm saying? Various reasons for even saying that, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get somebody outside or whatever. So I came up with Yurt City because that's exactly what it is, you know what I'm saying? I was saying Apple City before, which everybody off rip already know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I came up with a Yurt City Calculator as a name, you know what I'm saying? Probably going to use it for some project or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So we just gonna call it that, and uh, <clears throat> what I wanna put this on by? I don't wanna put it on by. I actually went through all these options before for uh, bombs of plenty and all that. You know what I'm saying? Messing around with the noise scales and all of that amplitude and all that. You know what I'm saying? It gives you uh, like this gives you a lot of uh, option on how you can generate the world. I don't see a lot of people utilize that enough. You know what I'm saying? Realistic is kind of one that I wanna go with. You know what I'm saying? Bombs. Let's go over realistic. Cheeto on as always. You know what I'm saying? The C's are going to be the same thing. I don't care what the world is. I'm going to use it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am normally. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what the world is like. I could just basically survive in anything. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I got the uh, FOV set to 100. You know what I'm saying? Usually I don't set it that high or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I set it that high when I'm playing, but not when I'm recording. But <clears throat> it is what it is for right now. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? It's basically like a test run or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's going to take a hot little minute before that loads up. This took like two minutes to load up. You know what I'm saying? It would take like maybe 30 minutes to a, to a, I mean not 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute to load up on my old uh, gaming PC or whatever. That's why I got to get a new one. Looking at one called uh, Creator 17, you know what I'm saying? I think it's MSI, MSI Creator 17. That's the one I'm looking at right now, you know what I'm saying? Basically, like some of the uh, same specs as my old one. I had a, I had a uh, Acer Predator Helios 300, you know what I'm saying? Decent laptop, you know what I'm saying? I bought it for like 1800 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I could get this one for the same, just about the same price or whatever, but as you can see, 8-core, you know what I'm saying, processor, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this is what I'm looking into really getting, you know what I'm saying? I just look like the way it is for the most part, you know what I'm saying? From what I've seen, it's modular, at least with uh, what they was talking about it, because i seen it at some uh, electronic show or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They was talking about how it's modular and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know... Did my little research, went to the website. Of course, it's better. It's always a better laptop than the one that you're actually looking at. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I really like this one, so you know what I'm saying. The only thing I don't like about it, which is the problem that I had with the last one, is the build quality. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not really di digging like the whole aluminum and plastic thing, but you can't really find another laptop really that's like that. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have one that's custom built. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is just typical. Typical stuff. We're gonna. I'm not gonna explain a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's already expert mode. So if you're watching this, what is my frame like? My frame rate is looking horrible right now. Hey. Right. For the most part, I already got everything set up on this. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do the usual. You know what I'm saying? As always, punch trees. You know what I'm saying? Get wood. Make a couple of basic tools or whatever, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, because this is expert mode, you can't just um, make stone tools and stuff like that. You're going to have to do a tinker's construct and make your tools that way, you know what I'm saying? And when you're doing it like that, you have to deal with uh, getting gravel or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't like the recipe book, but I do like it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make some sticks right quick and make a couple of blank patterns, you know what I'm saying? These are basically stencils for... Uh, Take this car, you know what I'm saying? I might actually drop. I don't like the stutter, so I think I'm gonna drop the uh, the FOV there. Let's drop it to 89. Stutters is bothering me, you know what I'm saying? This is the first time I put the Whaler dialogue like right in the middle where the cursor's at, you know what I'm saying? Kinda like it though. You know what I'm saying? Usually I put it to the left. You know what I'm saying? I always make it so it's uh, full transparent the way it is. You know what I'm saying? You see it right now, it says dark oak wood. 
progression of uh, destroying the block and all that. You know what I'm saying? The blue text is always the text where um, the item comes from. So it says Minecraft. So this is that's a vanilla block. You know what I'm saying? But if I was to look at, for instance, uh, let's see if I can find something over here. What the hell did I hit? I see the avocados from Pam's Harvest Craft, Craft, which is a different mod. Am I walking past some thorns or something? Walking past something. Alright, anyway. I'll say that I should sit here and uh, what's the name, but I need to get moving. Uh what we gotta do is do that. Take that out. Make this into a crafting station. This is one of the basic blocks or whatever from for Tinker's construct. We're gonna put that there. Um, put a pad in over that makes a tool or uh, station or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Stencil table. This is what you use to make stencils for um, your weapons. I'll show everything in a minute and what it actually does and all that. You know what I'm saying? But this is basically like this is basically one on one for um, uh, tool creation. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Tinker's construct. Tinker's construct is like a blacksmith of mine. Um, I forgot the last one. What was the last one? Always forget the last one. And then there's pattern chests and stuff like that. And where you can put your patterns in. These, this is what I'm gonna be making. These are all the different tools. You make them from different materials. They have different um, qualities, uh, different skill sets, and um, basically different attributes. The attributes basically come off like different powers or whatever that's associated with the tool depending on the uh, particular materials made out of it. <clears throat> so, crafting tool, stencil. Part build. All right, I thought I did the part build. I didn't do the part build. Oh, that's planks. No wonder. All right. Oh, I know what I'm taking. I'm taking damage because I'm actually punching trees. That's the reason why I forgot about that. <clears throat> all right, so that's all the basic tables that you need to start this up. And for the most part, there's no real good viable materials outside of uh, cactus and uh, that's really it, cactus and wood. You know what I'm saying? When you first start the game, that's if you have to create all your tools with flint. You know what I'm saying? As, as the starter. You know what I'm saying? And you can't just use anything that you see. <clears throat> for the most part, also the other thing I'm going to be turning off is uh, uh, what's the name of the mod or whatever. Spice of Life. If you ever play with Spice of Life before, it's a food grinding mod, meaning that you you can't eat the same food over and over and over. You have to actually alternate what types of food that you eat, which is good in theory or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but uh, with Spice of Life, you have to actually modify the configuration files in order for it to not be so grindy, and you know that causes uh what has caused a lot of um, complaints about the mod. You know what I'm saying? In the community. For a lot of years now you know what i'm saying because uh it's cool the first time they get the experience or whatever you know what i'm saying it's actually using a mod but i don't really actually enjoy that because you just end up having like farms and farms and farms of different foods and you gotta waste time trying to make different foods so you don't starve to death there's a cheat code to get around it you know what i'm saying which i know you know what i'm saying but i just don't feel like going through it i already did it already you know it's not enjoyable enough for me to do it multiple times or whatever <clears throat> so I'm going to be turning that off when, um, in the config files when I have a chance. You know what I'm saying? I just forgot about it. You know what I'm saying? You can always tell that it's in the mob because all oh, the dialogue is not eaten yet. What does it taste like? Nutrients, grain, blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? You also have the nutrition mod right here. This determines if you keep um these different uh food groups or whatever. If you keep those percentages higher than what it is, you'll get an extra bar. Of um, of hearts. It's basically extra health. You know what I'm saying. There's a mod in here called uh, Ice and Dragon or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Reminds me of uh, Game of Thrones or whatever. You know what I'm saying. As uh, a bunch of different types of dragons that I never actually got into it. But the dragons, the dragons are massive and they can body you like really quick. You know what I'm saying. Like one shot. That's Astro Sorcery. Uh, what's the name? You know what I'm saying. Astro Sorcery. Uh, Marble and all that. You know what I'm saying. Right now I'm on I'm I'm walking. You see I'm not running. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's gonna kill my health or whatever. 
but I'm walking to find the um these the reason why these cows look different is because they're from Animania, which basically changes the physics of um animals to actually function like real life animals. So you can't just kill them normally. You know what I'm saying? You have to mate them and everything else. You have to keep them fed, keep them happy, like real life animals basically, like real life livestock. But I'm I'm on a search right now for um for gravel and all that. You know what I'm saying? Gravel is where I get flint from. That's where I be be able to start just back and actually make some tools. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, this is an expert mode pack. This is not just a regular kitchen sink pack or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like everything has a process to it. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, most of these expert packs are like Greg Tech. You know what I'm saying? Even though a lot of people don't like Greg Tech, always like Greg Tech. You know what I'm saying? Because uh some of the realism associated with it. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because uh I'm probably gonna use some play. It's funny because uh, a lot of people don't like Greg Tech, but all the uh, expert mode packs is basically, it's essentially Greg Tech. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Can I straight up make this in the blocks? I can. See, normally, like if I was playing Greg Tech, I wouldn't even be able to make this in the blocks. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I appreciated when I did play Try Great Tech for the first time, because I wanted to see what everybody was talking about, about it like being so hard to um actually do anything or play, you know what I'm saying? Was um the mining levels, you know what I'm saying? Like for instance, I, I won't initially in the early game, you know what I'm saying, basically still in the punching trees phase before you even get the tools, be able to um be able to mine uh, iron or redstone or anything like that. You have to go in stages. So the only thing that you can really mine in the beginning is copper. And you can only do that with flint tools. And then it goes up. It steps up copper. Then it's tin. Then it's, um, what else? Uh, I know aluminum is in there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a very soft metal. You know what I'm saying? And it goes up and up and up and up and up. You know what I'm saying? Not everything is realistic. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, like, gold is a soft metal. But gold has a lot of value in um when you in MC when you're playing in or whatever you know what I'm saying so they make that harder to get you know what I'm saying because of that limitation or whatever it forces you to be more creative with the resources that you do have available to you you know what I'm saying and that's what I like about it you know what I'm saying you just can't do everything under the sun from the beginning of the game you know what I'm saying once you play the game for a long time that way because I played hundreds of packs that way in the beginning it was exciting it was just fun. But now I have a higher respect for packs that don't that aren't kitchen sinks that are more focused, don't have a million mines in it. You know what I'm saying? Have a, have some kind of theme to it. You know what I'm saying? As well as packs that uh have a different gameplay loop to it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is how I survived before, you know what I'm saying? I was just uh squatting in the uh, Astro Sorcery Temple. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I was surviving before. I still haven't found found any gravel and the sun's going down already. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so what I'm doing now is just uh grabbing some um dirt to either make a pill box or just dig in the ground and make a rabbit hole. So uh I won't get killed by mobs. That's a dragon I was talking about. That's a dead one. It's two over here. So, I didn't know about this before. I read this on the um, forum or whatever, but you sh shift. I mean, um, yeah, shift to crouch or whatever, and then you right click on them. And that's how you get the bones and the skull and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's useless for something. I forgot what it was. Some kind of, uh, what's her name? There's a dragon whistle and something else that you do with this. But you could basically raise dragons and stuff like that, fly them and all that, but it takes time. And like I said, they're very dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Botanium flowers, one of my most well-liked mods. Oh, oh, out of here, out of here. I'm still wandering around, but I'm, I'm just wait for a little bit. <clears throat> this is the only thing where this is going to um, take time. We're actually turning uh, daylight and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I might just uh, 
change it to daylight. Do I have any options? I do have the options. All right. All right, so we're just going to set the time of the day to keep the video rolling. Got some uh, ice spikes over there. Do I have any food on Yeah, I do have food on me. All right, so what you notice over time is that... um. I might be wrong, it might just be the nutrition line from what I'm looking at. But the way spicy life works is that um the value of the food that you're eating health wise degrades over time. So if I try to eat a million uh pumpkins or whatever, you know what I'm saying, pumpkin pies or whatever. The second time that I eat that pumpkin pie is gonna go down in uh 90%. Then it's gonna go down to 80. And then it gets harder and the animation gets slower and slower to the point where you, you can eat as many pumpkins as you want to. It's not going to actually heal you or do anything for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem with um, Spice Life. You know what I'm saying? It's a problem and it's not a problem because it's easy to get around. It's just that it's an annoyance. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you, Is that all made of gravel? Yeah, I think that's all made of gravel. Yep. I know the shift click, I mean, um, what's the name in here? Because I, I remember using it before. Vein miner, you know what I'm saying? Or excavation, I have it excavated set to, uh, yeah, to the grave key, so why is it not or All right, maybe it's just with the tool. I gotta have a tool in my hand. Let's try to stick. All right, there we go. That also eats up your health as well, you know what I'm saying? So now I got all of this gravel, I can turn all this gravel into... into flint. And this is uh, more realistic to the way human beings in real life obtain their first tools, you know what I'm saying? They were flint, you know what I'm saying? Different stones like that, that they can sharpen. I didn't know if that was a mob for a minute. That was a, uh, what's the name? A reindeer, not used to seeing them. That's from the Roots mod, it's a magic mod and all that. All right, so I'm grabbing wood right now to uh, make more blank patterns so I can make more stencils. Take half our sticks or whatever and use that. Alright, we're probably gonna squat down over here, you know what I'm saying, for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's a good place, you know what I'm saying? Easily uh memorable. You know what I'm saying? I don't really use journey map and all that. Although I do have journey map and it's not showing up at all. You know what I'm saying? It must have a sitting options or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really need journey map. I know how to navigate you know, the vanilla way, so I don't really don't need it. You know what I'm saying? Plus, it's all interesting to see everything on the map and all the mobs and where everything is at. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I would use it for is waypoints. You know what I'm saying? It's easier than the, um, taking screenshots or whatever of the coordinates and all that. Anyway, <clears throat> I forgot all about the quest book. There is a quest line to this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm right here getting started. You know what I'm saying? I forgot to give you stuff too. So off rip they give you a little bit of armor. You know what I'm saying? Basically trash armor, but it is armor. Um I can't die this armor. So let's do that first. When you die you get a um extra level of uh, armor protection or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they don't make that yet. Alright, they don't make that difficult. <clears throat> I don't know if you can use the baton on your flowers, but let me see if I can find out. Can I use that as a die? No, I think you had to, um, it's been a while since I used a You had to use, uh, 
like a pestle or mortar or something like that to crush it up so you can make it die out of it. Uh, so, which means I need to find more regular vanilla flowers and all that. Uh, here we go. Alright, so you see plus one on. Now it's not showing, but anyway, that's what you would normally do in vanilla. Why is it getting dark so fast again? <clears throat> uh, this right here, you could take this and make a backpack out of it. You know what I'm saying? I think I need more leather to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you need two parts. It's the frame. You need two parts before you can make it, um, a straight up backpack or whatever. You know what I'm saying? As soon as this goes down, I'm going to change it again. Mind you, I'm play I usually been played my packs or whatever with uh, keep inventory on. I've been playing it like that for years. But uh, stop playing it like that because it just becomes uninteresting because there's no consequence for actual death. You know what I'm saying? But I am going to use this. There's a command for it too. It's an easy command or whatever, but it's easier just to hit the button just so I can um, keep the video going because I will have to stop. And um, why is this here? Unbookmark that. I would have to stop and um, wait for the night to pass. You know what I'm saying? Since I don't have a bed yet and I have no way of making a bed right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Any other way would be like a short edit. You know what I'm saying? Sit there, wait, do an edit, or whatever. But I'm not doing that. It's, it's essentially a live stream. You know, even though it's just a you know just a regular recorded video. <clears throat> I don't have the time to do edits and all that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Um, what I was gonna do, make the stencils. All right, let's throw it on the tables and start making the tools. Before I do that, though, let me check the quest. Uh, flint is already done. And another right pan, cactus saw blade. Uh, you sh let's use the cactus saw blade. Usually, I use the another right pan because when you smack people with pans, or smack moms with pans, you oh, you knock them back mad far. You know what I'm saying? But I'll have no access to netherrack, and netherrack is what you would need to repair this. Next thing is 16 wood. I could have easily did that. Let's let's do, do this right now. The reason why I'm staying over here next to the gravels because I have uh, plenty of this material right here in order to uh, repair my tools. You know what I'm saying? Which is gonna uh, help me upgrade my tools so I can get better ones. This was this fir tree, ironwood from rustic. Right. Rustic is a mine that I never actually got into, but it is a good mine. I heard it's a good mile for uh, potions and stuff like that, and brews and stuff like that, which uh, give you like potion effects and all that. All right, so that's that quest complete. And I'm gonna take all of this because I'm probably gonna make a tree farm, like a real primitive, rudimentary tree farm, one that I usually always make or whatever. Just gotta find a good area to set up in, you know what I'm saying? Might uh, end up doing what I normally do, you know what I'm saying? Which is like straight sky block mentality, you know what I'm saying? Making platforms out here, you know what I'm saying? Just to escape the mobs and all that, you know what I'm saying? Usually make platforms out of uh, bottom slabs, you know what I'm saying? So no mobs can spawn on bottom slabs, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you use stairs, but I usually use bottom slabs because it's easy. Anyway, <clears throat> we got four four oak chests. Claim that. This is the reason why I, um. I was uh, collecting clay because I knew clay is always important no matter what. You know what I'm saying? No matter what my pack you play, clay is important. Iron is important. Uh, what else? That's really it. You know what I'm saying? There's more than always just that. You know what I'm saying? Like you playing with A2, you definitely got to get um, certain quartz. You know what I'm saying? You definitely need to uh, be able to mine it. Uh, mine. Uh, what's the names over time? Get some diamonds so you can mine um 
the sky stone, which is going to take you forever because it's harder than obsidian, but you need it, you know what I'm saying? It's the only way you can uh, get any any headway in the um, applied in logistics anyway. <clears throat> uh, we got our four chests and all that. I should do a pattern chest and all that, you know what I'm saying? Pattern chest and all, uh, what's the name? And uh, part chest. Need two sticks. I got two sticks. I need to do that on the table. All right, this holds your uh, your western names, your stencils, and your parts, respectively. So, the old version of Tinker's Construct or whatever, when you open the GUI, you can switch to all these different tabs. You know what I'm saying? But in newer versions, ever since one cent, uh, one ten two, you can. So that's what I'm doing here. You know what I'm saying? This is probably gonna be the last thing I do or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm already over my thirty minute mark. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I have no material either. I didn't get any material. There's no cactus or anything around here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's do the flint tools. So first things first, we need to make uh stencils. You know what I'm saying? And you always go with your default weapon. So this is an axe head. This is what I'm gonna be making. Uh, axe head. I need um a pickaxe. Can't make the lumber axe right now. I need a tool rod. I also need a shovel. A lot of people sometimes make Maddox or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. And uh. What else? What else? What else? Um, need this right here. A binding pattern. All right. So after you do that, you take your blank patterns again out of there. After you make your stencils or whatever, you go to the part builder. You know what I'm saying? The part builders would you actually start making actual um tool parts? You know what I'm saying? So flint X. You know what I'm saying? Flint X there because it's made out of flint. It's gonna have a uh, no what's the names attached to it at all but these are all the st uh, statistics or whatever for the particular item that you're making you know what i'm saying once i get better uh materials i can do better things with it you know what i'm saying you can also add modifiers on it which is uh actually like bonus stats i don't want to do that at all no i'm gonna put that wood now wood has uh Right here, ecological. This is um, this is a uh, characteristic that comes with it. So anything that you made out of wood, any tools that you make out of wood will automatically repair themselves. That's the reason why I'm doing it, and I need three of them because I have three tools. Uh, I need to get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. This that this let's get rid of that and that's it for now all right so that's the thing about tinkers construct items i mean stage tools crafting stations and tool stations and all that, that that the items that you put in it stay on the table so if i take this off and i put this over here it's going to be appear over here it's going to stay on the table um what else we need to go back to the part builder again and we're gonna do the tool rods the tool rods are going to be made out of wood all of them and these are my basic tools so these are all the different parts for the basic tools or whatever now to put the to put the to actual tools together you need to go to the tool station you know what i'm saying and put the parts in so this is my shovel this is durability the mining level is flint mining speed attack speed modifiers too <laughs> What's the names? <laughs> you can also repair your tools with uh, the tool station and all that. I don't know. I 
thought I was bugging. And that's all my basic tools right there. Now, what you do with the patterns is you throw the patterns in here. The part chest, this pattern chest right here. And that's the chest that specifically holds those items for you. And I can throw my blank patterns in there, but I can't throw all of them in there. So, this flint I'm going to use. And I also need to make um, another, uh, another tool station. <coughs> This one I'm going to be carrying with me. Can I used to be able to make slabs out of that, like that, but uh, now I'm newer versions. So I need this table to actually repair everything. Pack days. There's blue ice around here somewhere that I've seen before, and I was thinking about making uh, like a rudimentary base out of that because uh, for the most part, mobs can't spawn on that, and it's a decent looking block to actually make something out of. Right, with these tools or whatever they don't actually break i mean they don't um break and disappear from your inventory they just break and then you have to repair them so i just level my shovel up doing that and then when you hear that sound they broke so when it breaks you throw it on the tool station throw it in with a piece of material whatever material that it was made out of and then you um Just do it like that, repair it like that. But it has to be off the table. I should have made an actual sword with the cactus head. Usually I don't make swords because um axes cause more damage. Alright, so this is journey map right here. This is where I spawned at. And this is where I walk to. And right down here, I missed um over here. This is a a media crater. You know what I'm saying? That there's a media there. And that media is for A2. So where I'm at right now is uh where I'm gonna put a waypoint. So we're gonna make a new waypoint and this is going to be um base basically <clears throat> always call them setup so I know that's where I'm at you know what I'm saying uh, also I want to do one more thing I must have turned the second mini map off no I didn't take it turn it off so why is it not coming up He's not bringing that up. I have to check the key. It's not bringing up my second mini map. Mini map. Anyway, <clears throat> that's why I'm end it right here for today or whatever. Need some food. You know what I'm saying? I actually wait for the night to go away this time. You know what I'm saying? Research a few things. Where, where I'm going or what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I forgot about these dumbass loot chests. You know what I'm saying? I have to work on getting a scanner. This is going to take me a minute to get, you know what I'm saying? It's made out of a few things. You can click on and see the recipes. So iron, I'm not going to be able to mine. Redstone, I'm not going to be able to mine. Same thing with gold. Uh, another quartz I got to get from another, you know what I'm saying? These are iron bars, which is more iron. So, you know what I'm saying? Not going to be able to get that right now. My only direction is this way, you know what I'm saying? So, in order to make any of this, first you got to get clay, you know what I'm saying? But this is all for Tinker's Construct. This is basically the smeltery. You know what I'm saying? You have to make seared bricks. Seared bricks is made out of grout. Grout is made out of uh, gravel, sand, and clay. You know what I'm saying? So I have to go and collect a lot of that in order to make uh, take this construct smell through. That's the next step. And no luck. Oh, let me get out of here. It's not even ice. I'm going to have to fight him.
right, with that. What are you hitting for? It's gonna be the end of it. You trash kid.